the skeletal spirit of vengeance himself, Ghost Rider, would have an interesting case for taking on Darkseid. Ghost Rider likely doesn't have the strength, the durability, or problem-solving skills that would be required to take on Darkseid in a fair fight. He does, however, have one of the most powerful abilities in the entire Marvel Universe, the Pennant Stare. Look into my eyes! First of all, Ghost Rider would have to get in close to use its effect on Darkseid, which would be hard enough in its own right, but may be possible as Darkseid may not see him as much of a threat. The second thing would be whether or not the Pennant Stare would even work on Darkseid. Ghost Rider's signature move has been ignored by those who have inflicted carnage such as the Punisher and Deadpool though it's easy to see those as outliers. If the stair works as it should against Darkseid, there would be nothing left but a withered husk. Doctor Strange is a character that has a seemingly never-ending bag of tricks and spells he is able to draw from, and that could quickly make things a bit tricky for Darkseid. Magic is a power source that is much different from most of what it is in the DC Universe. If Doctor Strange were to get the jump on Darkseid, there's no telling what kind of hex or spell the good Doctor could use on the Lord of Apocalypse. Doctor Strange even has the ability to banish creatures to other dimensions, which just may be applicable on Darkseid. I think if you gave Doctor Strange enough time to prepare his spells and plan of attack, Darkseid wouldn't stand a chance against the Sorcerer Supreme. In a one-on-one -on -one direct fight though, yeah, Doctor Strange isn't going to be having a great time. This was a mistake. When going up against a god who can erase nearly any matter with his eye lasers, you typically need something a bit stronger than say, a gun or some big muscles. But when you are a casual reality warper who can change the fabric of reality at will or even accidentally, well, you may not be in too much trouble. Scarlet Witch is an incredibly powerful sorcerer who uses her chaos magic to handle any threat that comes her way. She is able to absorb energy and project it with impressive power, create force fields capable of stopping very powerful blows, and can even manipulate time. At one point, Wanda merely uttered the phrase, no more mutants, and poof, all the mutants in Marvel were depowered, just like that. Who knows just how much power she can exert? Could she just say, no more dark side? It would certainly make for a short and uneventful fight. The Silver Surfer is known as the Herald of Galactus, and he is often seen as a sort of baseline for how powerful a Marvel character is. He is one of the strongest Marvel heroes, as he was endowed with the power Cosmic, which gives him a massive range of abilities and some impressive raw power that just may give him the edge over the ruler of Apocalypse. The Surfer is capable of absorbing nearly any force thrown at him and dishing it back at the attacker. He is so strong he was able to beat Abomination into submission even in a weakened state. And he is so resilient that he was able to survive the effects of even a black hole. Darkseid may be one of the most powerful villains in the DC Universe, but he's going to have a tough time dealing with the Silver Surfer. On the surface, Franklin Richards it seems like your average run-of-the-mill American kid. His parents are Susan and Reed Richards, sure, but what he is capable of is far beyond what his parents could have ever hoped for. Franklin Richards is so much more than just his title of mutant. He is easily, and I mean easily, one of the strongest characters in the entire Marvel Universe. He is an Omega-level mutant who is said to have powers on the level of the Celestials. He is able to bend reality at will and seems to have no limit on what he is capable of doing. At the moment, he may have trouble with Darkseid as he is just a young boy and doesn't have full control over his powers. But all he has to do is to bring his future self back in time to mop up Darkseid with complete ease. Bruce Banner's alter ego is one of the physically strongest characters in all of fiction. And his strength is only limited by his anger, which is apparently limitless. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. So we'll go ahead and say limitless strength too. I mean, even the Beyonder said that the Hulk's strength is limitless, so that's saying something right there. The Hulk has a number of different personalities which all have varying levels of strength. The Hulk's persona known as the Green Scar and Devil Hulk are believed to be his most powerful incarnations. Moreover, the World Breaker Hulk is one that is completely limitless, unbound by the subconscious will of Bruce Banner. If the Hulk were to get in close to Darkseid, it would be game over in the blink of an eye. Hulk would have trouble with his Omega Beams to be sure, but with those out of the equation, World Breaker Hulk would become a Dark Side Breaker Hulk. The Phoenix Force in the Marvel Universe is one of the most powerful beings that has ever existed. And when the Force merged with Jean Grey, she became the superhero Phoenix. The Phoenix Force being one with Jean Grey offers her some unimaginable power. They are effectively omnipotent, able to warp reality at will on a universal level and can destroy multiple planets with ease with energy blasts. While many of the characters on this list could defeat Darkseid in the right circumstances or if they were able to plan their attack, the Phoenix Force would beat Darkseid beyond a shadow of a doubt. The power would simply be overwhelming for the Dark God and there wouldn't be much he could do to take it down. And even if he would be able to take down the Phoenix Force, it would simply rise again, as Phoenixes are apt to do. 
Captain Marvel is possibly the closest thing that the Marvel Universe has to a version of Superman. Fitting, too, because Carol Danvers would be one of the most equally matched fighters for Darkseid to go up against in the Marvel Universe. We all saw how she handled Thanos in Endgame, so it makes sense that she would be close in strength to Thanos' Detective Comics counterpart. Captain Marvel is best known for her ability to absorb energy in order to augment all her powers such as her durability, regenerative powers, and her strength. Speaking of strength, Miss Danvers is strong, really strong. At one point, she was even able to stop a Celestial from falling to Earth by herself. With the powers of Binary, it's not hard to see how she would be a pretty even match for the Dark God. Thor has many different incarnations, some who would likely lose to Darkseid and some that would absolutely curb stomp the beam spamming giant. In his standard form, Thor would likely lose to Darkseid as he just doesn't have the capabilities to deal with the kind of damage that Darkseid can dish out. However, if you take many other kinds of Thor, you're looking at a much more one-sided battle for the Norse god. To take an extreme example, Rune King Thor would absolutely destroy Darkseid with almost no traits of the former tyrant. This form of Thor truly embodies the title of God. He is more or less completely invulnerable, immortal, nearly omnipresent, and omniscient. At this point, Rune King Thor is only underneath the beings that outright control the multiverse, and that is far from the worst place to be. Beyonder is a complete mismatch for Darkseid, as it's not a real question as to who would win their battle. A complete reality bender, Beyonder has complete control over everything and was only considered to be below the one above all, the true god of the Marvel Universe. There really isn't too much to say about how it would go. I'd say that Beyonder snaps his fingers and Darkseid would simply vanish, but in reality, it wouldn't even take that much effort. Beyonder is simply beyond anything Darkseid could hope to fight. There are other beings in the DC Universe that would have powers on par or even above the Beyonder, such as their version of the One Above All, the Presence. But Darkseid just wouldn't be able to compare. 